How's it going YouTube? I am in some pretty rough shape. I pulled a muscle in my quadricep. Like this video if you actually know what a quadricep is. But anyways, I'm not going to let it get in the way of me and my shop time. So today we are going to go out to the log pile, chainsaw up a big old log into a blank. We're going to rough turn a vase. Okay, the game plan for this is to cut off the sides where the bark is at. This is going to be end grain, which means the grain is going to be going straight up and down in the tree. And I'm also deciding to leave the pith in the tree, which I'm not too worried about. I've already made one of the cuts. I'm going to go ahead and make the other three. <laughs> Okay, so I've got my piece of wood right back here. It is all cut up and ready to be mounted on the lathe. Gonna be using my four point spur drive to mount this in between centers with my live center. Here's a close up of my bow gouge. This is half inch. I have the Ellsworth grind on it, and I've also got a double bevel here. I do this because it gives me a lot more flexibility when I'm working, let's say, on the inside of a bowl because it gives me a lot less contact bevel. With the piece of wood, gets an easier cut and it's much easier to come around the curve of a bowl and it works just as well. Let's go ahead and shape this piece up. <laughs> this is making me so happy. I'm so happy. I believe in magic! Alright, so if you're going to get into Halloween, you need to go out and get yourself one of these big drill bits. This thing is like a foot long, looks like maybe 5 eighths drill bit. So as you can see, I'm just going to start slowly hand cranking this drill in. Back that out frequently so no chips will build up in there. And also, I'm going to move my tailstock up. And that is all there is to it. Is a really good song. Off the topic, we have got the hollower system on here. 
And we should be ready to hollow. You can see inside there the finished Halloween. It is pretty rough on the inside. I don't have any way to clean that up. I did actually use my round nose. I'll show it to you. It's a round nose French scraper. I used that to clean up as far down into the vase as I was bold enough to go, but I can't have it overhanging that deep inside there, especially with a scraper. It's just bound to get a catch. So the very bottom of the vase is just rough from the tip of the hollower, but I'm all right with that. So anyways, there is the finished product. All right, guys, that is it for this vase. Now, I have it bagged in a paper bag right now with some shavings. I brushed on some end grain sealer. It's a wax emulsion sealer just to the end grain only. The side grain is still bare and open so that the moisture can still breathe out of the wood. The paper bag helps slow down the drying process, which will reduce the chances of checking or cracking. So within the next year or so, you can expect a finished turning video of this piece. Now, thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you would do me the favor, please subscribe to my channel. And if you're curious about what tools, the model, the brand that I'm using in this video, I love hearing from you guys in the comment section. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you guys have. Stay tuned for my next video, and I will see you all then. Thank you for watching.